ever YouTube video. I can't believe I'm doing this. Got back from the gym and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna start and make a video today. This is literally such a random time to start a video. I am gonna be moving out of the UK to Turkey on the 30th of September, fingers crossed. I'm waiting for the travel update because it's been an absolute nightmare to get to Turkey or to be able to travel anywhere really this year. May or may not be like me, but I've been one of them people the past few years that's been struggling to find a job that they actually enjoy and knowing what they want to do. Not to be negative, but it is hard to find your path. Being young, you do stress about these things. I'm just finally getting to that point now where I've saved up my money and I'm just gonna make the move. Obviously, we're just gonna see where the journey takes me because to be fair, I honestly have no idea. I just wanna inspire people. Like if you've got a dream and you wanna go and do something, then go and do it. Because if you sit there working a job like from Monday to Friday that you don't really enjoy, you're gonna honestly be so miserable. I've spent too much time feeling like that. I've literally never done anything like this before, so I feel like I basically am winging it. That's all part of the excitement. I actually should have been there in March. It's September now, so that was like, how many months ago? <laughs> Seven months ago. I think obviously things just got more restricted with travel. I found myself stuck. I had two flights canceled now. I got my third one booked on the 30th of September. Fingers crossed this one actually goes ahead. But if it doesn't, I've got another route, so I will be there. Anyone that knows me will know how much I absolutely adore Turkey. I just love it so much. I just love the country so much. I want to experience new surroundings. I want to meet new people. I just think that there's so much more to the world than the town that you grew up in. I just want to inspire people so much to go and do something and see places. So this is just going to be like a vlog of how I got there, if I get there, and when I get there. Guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> With another update. So happy. The best news. I can't believe it has actually come off the red list. I'm actually going. I need to pack all my cases. Everything is just everywhere. I'm just in shock. I cannot wait. Guess who's back? Back again. With some bad news. Girl tested positive for COVID-19 six days before flying. Can you believe it? Because I can't. I can't believe it. After all of this time, Throughout the pandemic, I haven't had COVID that I've known of. And now, just six days before I move country, I get COVID. Although, I haven't actually been anywhere because I purposely haven't been anywhere because I purposely don't want to catch COVID before flying. Still managed to catch it despite not going anywhere, except the gym. So, I must have catched it in the gym, but what can you do if you're watching this and you have been in a similar situation where you've been due to travel and you've caught covid then i really do sympathize with you because it's a pretty situation i will not let this destroy my plans whatever happens i'm not just gonna drop everything and think do you know what i'm just gonna give up because i'm not giving up after all of this I'm not letting this defeat me. I will go. I will get there. The amount of things that have been thrown in my way, almost like stopping me from doing what I want to do, is actually insane. Just to put the icing on the cake, I've got COVID. <laughs> I'm not going to be negative about it though. It's not the end of the world. It could be a lot worse. To be fair though, life isn't going to be easy. There's always going to be challenges that you're going to face no matter what you try and do. However, these challenges and the way that you deal with them is what's going to make you stronger in the long run. We got this. Negative thoughts just brings negativity all around. Just a bit of a setback. Just thought I'd give you the update though. Just keep it real because this just goes to show that not everything you do is going to go as you want it to. That is totally okay. That is fine. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. The journey is just going to continue. Literally less than 24 hours now till I go. I actually feel so strange like I can't believe it. Well, to be fair, started saying now that I might be going. So I might be going in 24 hours, but I'm saying this because every time I say that I'm going, something happens and stops me. So we're just gonna go with might be. Started raining, what a shock. It's always raining. Every time I leave the house, it starts raining, honestly. 
I'm back home now. Literally just getting some final things done and ready. Although I don't actually know what I'm gonna wear to the airport yet. And I literally, I've gotta get up at four in the morning. I really need to decide what I'm wearing. But you know when like you just stress out because you feel like you wanna look nice at the airport, but then you wanna be comfy at the same time. And then I don't wanna be too hot, but then I don't wanna be too cold. But then I don't wanna take like a massive jumper and a coat, etc. So I'm just stressing out now. <laughs> Also, I feel like I literally haven't made any effort whatsoever throughout this video. So I do apologize. And my voice still kind of sounds like as if I've got Rona. I haven't. I've finished my isolation now. It's a bit raspy. Is that the word? Yeah, it's still a bit raspy. <laughs> everything just feels so strange i don't really know what i'm doing to be fair i do feel a little bit nervous still it doesn't feel like i'm actually here i also had a bit of a nightmare on the first night finding the apartment i actually couldn't find the apartment i had no idea where i was going and i just literally had no idea i feel like i've just got this attitude now where if there's ever a problem then i'm just gonna cross that bridge when i get to it if anything goes wrong they'll just sort it out no point in worrying honestly it's been a minute <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. It's been, it's been like six, no, it's been five weeks. I've been here for five weeks now. I literally said that I was going to put this video up like as soon as I got here, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. A lot has happened in five weeks. Honestly, so much has happened. I've learned so many lessons. Look at the state of me. <laughs> this is what you get for going out two nights in a row. It's been five weeks so much has happened it's just crazy part of me is like am i actually here so different like i've had to put myself out of my comfort zone which is like partly why i why i've done this in the first place didn't want to just be stuck in the town where i grew up you no know, like i just wanted to get more experience meet new people it's been good it's been good so far a lot has happened in the five weeks Got myself in some embarrassing situations this is like me though like i'm always putting myself in an awkward situation like honestly all the time the apartment now finally feels more homely everything's pretty much sorted now it's taken five weeks <laughs> it was never gonna be easy like i just didn't really know what to expect though still trying to find some work i mean it's not easy to find work unfortunately fingers crossed I'm gonna find some work soon but it's good like now that i'm here i can actually because i've been trying to learn turkish now for like a year but obviously when you're in the uk nobody speaks turkish so yeah now i'm here i'm trying to practice speaking as much as possible it's so hard though <laughs> honestly i can't believe it's monday again just walking to the gym now it's always a little bit chilly <laughs> in the morning so but look how stunning oh oh it's just such a beautiful place though, such a beautiful country and I'm excited to see more places, hopefully get some good videos, we'll see. Hopefully gonna go on many adventures, yeah, like I said I'm gonna visit some different places in Turkey as well because it's always been a dream, so many places and there's so much going on. Anyway I'm gonna try and make this a wrap here, I feel like I haven't really explained exactly why I'm here and why I chose to move here basically i've been coming to this place on holiday with family for like the past six maybe like i don't know if it's been like seven or eight years um, something like that the first time i came i was 13 like eight years ago and i came last year something just made me want this dream i just saved up and now i'm here we must have the uh, flip-flop gang here wait <laughs> gang if anyone has any ideas of anything that they want to see then please let me know and also feel free to ask me any questions if you're thinking about doing something similar then please just ask me i can try my best to help i don't really know what i'm doing still now it's all part of it always learning every day every day is a school day i made it back from the gym that was probably like one of the most least enjoyable gym sessions i've probably ever had i think i'm still rough from the weekend is that possible <sighs> send help. Anyway, um, I forgot to mention, I've actually got a cheeky interview today for a little job, so fingers crossed, goes good, but I don't know. Also, I've applied for something else. 
could be like really good but I'm not gonna say anything yet because I don't want to jinx myself <laughs> oh everything's crazy I don't even think this hat is supposed to look like this <laughs> Please ignore the mess as well, I've just realised. <laughs> Surprised that my face isn't actually like a tomato. I don't really know what else I'm going to record. So please let me know if you've got any ideas. Moral of the story is never give up, never doubt yourself. I'm going to leave it there. Bye for now. Guru